It's all about what my philosophy in life is. And I just found this online. I don't know if that counts as what my philosophy in life is, but let me explain. So, this is, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. As a teenager, I'm still exploring a lot of new things, still having an adventure, still trying new, and a lot of stuff. You know, getting intrigued and doing it through something new, getting curious on what could happen, what could possibly happen, what would not happen if I didn't do it. So, I have this one memory that I regret not doing it and not agreeing on doing it. And the worst part is that memory was about my mom. So, the story goes by, like, last year of September. I don't know if that's September, but uh, my grade 11 uh, school is about to start, like, the year grade 11. And before my uh, class starts, like, you know, the whole school year, my mom... Uh, invited me to go with her in Singapore because she had to work there for her uh, operation in her breast because unfortunately she has a stone in her breast I don't know what that call is like is that a kidney oh no no like a stone uh, thingy, whatever that is. It's, it needs to be, like, removed immediately at that time. I was the only available son of hers to go with her. So I have three siblings, and I'm the oldest. And by that time, maybe she thought I was the only available uh, child to go with her. Because, like, basically, since I'm the eldest, I don't need to, like, show a lot of papers just to get approval on going, you know, in other countries. So maybe that, that was the reason why my mom wanted me to go with her. But I refused. I refused to go with her. I told her that my, my class is about to start. Like, my school year is about to start. And... I don't want to miss any day. I don't want to have any absence. I don't want to be selfish. Okay, at that time, I didn't. I didn't knew that the reason why she wanted to go to Singapore and work there is for is so that to get a money for her operation. I didn't knew that. I only. I only thought that she wanted to go in and work in Singapore is to get a lot of money, more money than here in the Philippines. So. By the way, her work is, uh, she works uh, in an entertainment place, in casino. So she basically just entertain people, you know, entertain a lot of foreigner people. So yeah, she gets a lot of money. But since I don't think that's enough for her to get her operation in her breast, she needed to go to abroad. And in, her, in order for her to stay a little longer abroad is to get a son and that was me the son but I refused so basically in short I chose school over my mom 
which I really regret. Not because I don't like school now, but like at the first week since the school year started, I thought we'd start having lessons for after one day. You know, like the second day of school, we're, we're gonna have a lot of lessons. You know, we're gonna start a lesson. But no, the whole week is was just all about um, knowing each other. In, in our section and I actually didn't do anything in class which I really regret not going with my mom and now up until now she's mad I'm blocked at her account and I I understand her I validate her feelings who wouldn't be mad you know who wouldn't get mad at refusing her you know her invitation it's not actually an invitation. I must, and I should have just got with her. Because that's kind of like an emergency stuff that I didn't actually get to realize while I was at that moment. So, yeah, but till now we don't have any connections or any stuff to communicate. And that's the most memory thing that I have that I regret not you know not doing it because it says here you only live once but if you do it right once is enough and I didn't did my best at that part and even now I'm still having a lot of what ifs in my mind that what if I just came with my mom all of this wouldn't happen, you know, like, she would have gotten that operation now, that stone would have got out in her breast, but, um, I also believe in, uh, anything happens for, everything happens for a reason, and I just really hope that one day would, will be, you know, We'll get along too again. <sighs> okay, so yeah, that's basically all it. And this is me, Jopper Villanueva, and this is my vlog for philosophy. Bye.